YouTube. I was uh, just going to show you kind of a variable cam timing a little bit for Ford. A um, couple of you uh, had a remark about switching from the FL500 filter to the A20 for more flow, but they didn't want to uh, adjust it for because of oil pressure running the variable cam timing. And I was going to show you that, I mean, always use the right filter. Uh, it's what's recommended for a reason. There's enough flow for the engine at all RPM ranges. A20 might flow better, but I might not flow better at higher RPM. Um, that's just my standpoint on it. Um, the other thing is, is you get your cams. This is a, currently a, a V6 that I'm working on. Sorry about the lights. I got no shop lights today. Um, power went out. But anyways, um, you have this. And uh, I actually had to place timing chains on it. Or, sorry, timing tensioner. Anyways, I'm going to finish it on Monday. So if you see here, you got your, you got your crank gear. Comes up, chain runs around this to this head. So your exhaust side and your intake side for the cams. Running those valves down there. For Ford's very low cam timing, this right here, this is a cam phaser. On the valve cover, which I forgot where I put, so sorry. <laughs> on the valve cover, oh, that's right, I got them on returned in. Um, anyways, there's a little actuator. When this thing needs uh, more power, basically the this goes by and hits the signal so it can actually kind of cam position it. So you got three right here, one. But what happens is when the engine starts spinning faster, it needs more lift, more RPM. Um, well, you know, it's spinning faster, more RPM. It needs a little bit more power. This cam phaser is still, starts filling with oil. And it gets weighted and it starts kind of advancing the timing just on this gear. So the exhaust will always stay the same. But your intake might change a couple degrees in duration which allows it to uh, get a little different timing and more power at the higher RPM range. So that's Ford's variable cam timing. Now the remark I had was on the new 5.0 Mustangs with the twin independent variable cam timing. And that's when both of these cam gears have um, cam phasers on them. So for each side, there's one phaser, two phaser, three, four. As you see, this is the V6. And uh, so they didn't want to mess up oil pressure for um, that particular reason. And uh, MMZ77 also remarked to me that that's why I decided to do this video. Just to kind of show you guys, you know, what on the Ford stuff is what's going on. Basically, stick with the FL500S if your engine takes the FL500S. An A20 will thread on. This particular engine it might fit a little snug, but that's what it is. Um, you just don't want to, and everything takes a certain amount of flow. It might not affect normal range, uh, but the engine was designed to have that filter on there. Sorry this kind of rambled, but this kind of gives you a little overview of the internals. And uh, for those of you that are looking to where the cam tensioners are, right here. This is the front cover only removed off. I had the heads off on Friday. Um, Basically, this is use the right oil filter. Um, I'm not saying these failed because they used the wrong one. Could be a possibility, but there actually was an 820 on this uh, engine before I started working on it. So, just kind of hope this helps you. Um, because otherwise, you know, you might be having to go through this. Because this is not fun. Well, not that it's hard when you have a lift, but yeah. <laughs> so, um, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you can. Let's you know I'm helping somebody out there. All right, bye.